hello guys welcome back so in the previous tutorial as you know that we uh, allow an online user to make a calls and we also display the received information to the sender now before we proceed let me tell you by sender i mean the person who is going to make a call and by receiver i mean the person who is going to receive a call from someone that is from sender so in this tutorial we are going to display the sender information to the receiver or you can say we are going to let the receiver know that is who is calling the receiver so for that uh, all you will need is first of all let's come here to our calling activity and here on our calling activity we need to create a function which is a bit a built in method basically on start and inside this on start we uh, on start we are going to do something i mean to add some information to the database first let me make sure that we have get we have this user reference already so we can say user reference dot child and pass the receive user id here that is the person who is going to receive a call dot add value event listener new value event listener and sorry this will be the add listener for single value event we just want to run this only one time okay and in here what we're gonna we have to first check if data snapshot dot has child calling now these are the information that we will set on the basis of which basically we will let the receiver know about the sender okay that is which person is now calling you I mean to display the profile picture of the sender and the name of the sender to the receiver okay so first we have to make sure that calling is not exist under the uh, receiver user id inside our users node and the second condition will be it means that if calling not exist okay make sure to add this exclamation mark and also the let's just if ringing not exist now i will tell you what it means basically if calling not exist and also if ringing not exist then it means that the user is not busy okay and the user i mean the receiver is able to receive a call from someone until unless he click on the cancel call button okay so this that's why we add this uh, condition for the calling and for ringing if both of these not exist then we are going to add some information to database and by the way we will add these uh, childs to the uh, i mean we will add this information in the database now you will see it okay so let's create quickly a hash map because we have some information i mean more than two values so hash map will be good to use we can give it name as calling info equals to new hash map then we can say calling in for dot out the first one will be the uid which is stored inside the okay let's just create i mean let's get the id here first by the way we have already that which is stored inside the sender user id so just come here and pass the sender user id here let us just copy this three times further and the second one will be the name of that online user i mean the sender so we can say sender username which you already retrieved this information in the previous video tutorial hope you have watched that so image and the image is stored inside the sender user image and then the last one is to store the receiver i mean to store basically pass the uh, id of the caller now as i told you receiver is the person basically who is going to receive a call and the sender is the person who is going to make a call so here we can say let's create another child by name calling small c okay this small c not that one that we will used as a sub child as sub parent child for storing our information i mean this calling and ringing you will understand it 
but first let's just do that and here we have to pass our receiver user id now this uid is the online user id which is basically the sender and calling we are storing the receiver user id which means that uid is calling this person okay on the basis of which i mean on the basis of this information basically we will uh, display the sender information now to the receiver but first let's just add this to the database so we have a user reference and then we can say dot child and we are going to store this information for the online user so we have sender user right dot child calling sorry okay capital c please make sure to use the same parent node i mean these uh, node names otherwise you will get confused okay when we run the application and store the information in the database then you will understand it more clearly and let's update our children which is our calling info so we are store uh, for the sender sender is calling okay so for the sender we are storing this information and then once this information is uh, added successfully then what we gonna do we are going to save some information for the receiver also so inside here this uh, on complete we can say that if the task is successful then we have to copy this hash map paste that here and instead of calling it calling map we can give it name as ringing info that is the person whose phone is ringing and that is basically the receiver okay so make sure to do these changes and then we have to pass the uid instead of sender we are now going to pass the receiver user id and then for the name we have the receiver user name and for the image we have receiver user image and then here first of all make sure to change this calling to ringing and here we have to pass the sender user id now now one thing which i noticed here is that even if we do not save the uid name and image for the sender here then uh, i mean on the basis of just this id we are just storing this receiver user id for the online user which is our sender and also in the second hash map there are also no need for storing this uid name and image because we have we are just storing the sender user id now for the receiver once we have these ids then on the basis of this ID, these ids which is that is if we have the sender user id then we can retrieve the information of sender and if we have the receiver id under the sender user id i mean the parent node for an online user for the sender then we can receive the receiver information but anyways i mean this is just for the short period of time that is when a call is ended then all these two nodes will be deleted okay so let's just keep this information also i mean yeah it will be good i think anyways let's just proceed because we just need only these ids okay for the calling i mean for the sender we just need the receiver id and for the receiver we just need the sender id anyways let's just complete this just i want to told you guys that was the receiver user id because now we are storing this sender user id i mean this whole hash map now for the receiver just like we did here for the sender i mean for the sender we store this receiver user id that is to whom he is going to make a call dot child ringing dot update children and pass the ringing info to it that's it now once we have this information in the database then we have to display the receiver information to the i mean sorry the send information to the receiver you are already in the previous tutorial we have displayed the receiver information to the sender which is easy thing to do the most important thing was to display the sender information to the receiver so on the basis of it let me tell you one more thing okay sender is basically an online user who is going to make a call okay so sender is calling inside this calling calling parent node we are adding this information 
which is basically the important thing that we need from this hash map is the receiver user ID because on the basis of that we can uh, retrieve the receiver information okay that's why we are just uh, I mean this is our important thing but alongside with that we are again saving this information here under the calling node for the online user which is the online information but anyways and it means that the sender is now calling and now on the other side the receiver for is ringing the person who is receiving a call his phone is ringing that's why we give it to them ringing okay and all the important thing that we need from this hash map is basically the sender id on the basis of this sender id we can retrieve the sender information okay these three information which is uid name and image of the receiver we are just storing it just to i mean it doesn't make sense but anyways let's just keep it for now let's just keep this information also okay and now let's go back to the context activity and the important thing is to here inside our own start we have to check something and that is basically to check for any receiving call not any basically we will receive only one call so check for uh, let's give this method name as receiving call let's just create this method okay here you can see it let's just move it to the bottom so inside here by the way i mean our receiving spelling is uh, wrong i mean the function name so it is up to you let's just i mean i do not know if i am writing the correct spelling r e c e i v i n g i think this is the spelling of receiving if I'm correct, then let me know in the comment section, okay? R E C I V I N G. So make sure to update the function, the method name here, okay? So, anyways, I mean, this is just the method name. So, using user reference, now we are going to check if the current user ID, which is an online user basically, if this, uh, if any node by the name ringing exists, it means that this person is receiving a call from someone okay from whom now we will see that add value event listener new value event listener now this is add value event listener okay so it will listen uh, continuously if there is any change i mean if there is any update in the database under for this user for an online user and also make sure that here we are using only the add listener for single value event okay and i already told you what that will do it will just uh, listen for single child i mean so anyways now here inside uh, we can check for specific node which is our basically the important thing and that is basically our uh, ringing child now for that uh, let's just receive a string type variable here and we can give this name as a called by initialize it with null now let's just move this i mean let's create separate variable for it just to make the i mean this is my way of writing code just to make the uh, code clean little bit i mean uh, keep the variable of receiver separate from the sender so anyways here we can say called by oh sorry First, we have to check if data snapshot dot uh, dot has child and child is basically our ringing which contains the ID of the sender, which means called by. Okay, that's why we create a variable by name called by. Then we can say data snapshot dot child ringing dot get value dot to string. So we have to get that ID okay and then we are going to send the user to the calling activity make sure to add a semicolon here and instead of writing the intent again let's just copy it this intent from here and paste that here so this is our calling intent we are sending the user from contacts to calling activity and alongside with that we are going to 
basically pass some information and that information is our information which we are doing here let me just check this one okay copy this same intent from here holder dot call button and replace this with it and here instead of this pass the id which is called by and one thing which i told you guys earlier is that this i mean from here uh, all you're gonna need is just remove these three child which is uid name and image because we just need the id i mean there is no need for storing this information which is uid name and image this will be the repetition of data we do not want that i mean it doesn't make sense to add that information again and again anyways so now everything seems good so that's it yeah i mean and the next thing is to test the application so connect your real android phone and let's just run it so the app is running now successfully on this phone also we are logged in here as johnson okay now let me just run the application on second phone. the app is running now on the two phones because we need two phones okay just to test the app okay so that you guys can also see it i mean two phones on your screen you can see it now on this phone i am logged in as johnson which i already told you guys i think okay which is this person basically here you can see this is his id johnson and on the second phone i am logged in as uh, muhammad ali here you can see it now uh, i'm going to make a call from this person because uh, muhammad Johnson has only one contact and that is Muhammad Ali here you can see it so let's just make a call to Muhammad Ali from this phone I'm going to click on this button and here you can see Muhammad Ali okay Johnson is calling Muhammad Ali and here on the second phone you can say that Johnson is receiving a call I mean Muhammad Ali is uh, to Muhammad Ali it is showing that Johnson is calling you and here Muhammad, uh, Johnson is calling Muhammad Ali so this is I mean Johnson is the sender from this one which I already show you guys okay and from here uh, the receiver I mean uh, Muhammad Ali uh, to Muhammad Ali it is saying that Johnson is calling you so here you can see it I mean and also if you see the uh, changes here in the database then in the database uh, Johnson is the person who is going I mean who make a call basically the sender okay so if I just extend that node then calling okay Johnson this is the Johnson okay so Johnson calling is the sub parent node for the calling information so calling contains the ID now it means that Johnson is calling this person which is at F okay that calling child contain the ID at F is the ID of Muhammad Ali okay so Muhammad, Muhammad Ali receive I mean ringing here that's why we say ringing so ringing contain the ID of the person I mean the sender so WF is the ID of the sender I mean the person who is make who is going to make a call I mean who already make a call so this is the inf uh, this is what exactly we want now that's it for this video now in the next tutorial what we'll be doing is to basically allow a user to cancel a call that is if i show you then i'm talking about this button okay that is if a user click on this red button then the, uh, the call will be cancelled and also on the and this is the receiver side okay we will display on the receiver side we will display the call accept button so that the receiver can also has two options one is to cancel the call and the second one is to accept the video chat that is to uh, i mean talk with the johnson on a video chat so yeah, that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will work on the cancel call cancel video chat feature that is cancel call feature both for the sender and for the receiver so yeah, see you guys in the next video bye for now